It is not the first time we're receiving, uh, so I'm receiving during the applied AI training in the company where I work, a uh, very simple question. And I would like to once again uh, speak about it on this channel. So large language models uh, is the buzzword which everyone hear and everyone thinks that ChatGPT or Copilot or Gemini is a large language model. And that's it. So every time you chat in the chat assistant, if you open ChatGPT window and you ask something, you ask to generate an image or to answer you uh, with a video or some other things, you think that, or at least like normally people think that this is the large language models which are responding to them. The reality is uh, slightly different. Uh, if you if you remember in the beginning when ChatGPT was just, an just announced, it was not able to generate images. It was not able uh, to generate uh, some complex stuff. It was only able to answer you in text, in a simple text. So large language models are the language models. They, uh, when they are trained, they receive text as an input for in the training data set. And when they're answering you, they are just answering you with text. What was happening after ChatGPT was announced, slowly all these companies like OpenAI, Google and others were connecting in the background other types of models, other types of Gen AI models, but these are not large language models. These are the models uh, to generate images, uh, to, to transcribe um, text to audio and vice versa, to generate videos. So these are all, uh, all models which are also based on neural networks. At the same time, they are not language models. That's why currently what we are seeing and what, what we are using, thinking that it's uh, large language models uh, in the background, it's, it's multi-model chat assistants. So ChatGPT is a multi-model chat assistant. You do not see what's happening in the background, but once you ask something, then normally the brain, uh, the LLM itself, reasons which kind of uh, model should be invoked in order to get the best answer maybe not even one model maybe a number of them maybe it should be a bit of a text model a bit of a model which will answer you with an image and so on and then you'll receive an answer thinking that it's just chat gpt answering you while in the background there is a big number of different models which have been chosen to answer you in the best uh, possible manner and you are getting uh, the result you want we can also see uh, so what's happening uh, with this uh, chat gpt and other providers they are becoming more and more powerful they're adding different things ChatGPT just added uh, agent builder they will be adding uh, different elements and in the end uh, each of these providers will create its own ecosystem and i will not be surprised if OpenAI will create a type of an operating system or maybe they will even create an operating system for the smartphone which will be fully run uh, on OpenAI products, on OpenAI uh, lang language models, large language models or other Gen AI models and they will be owning the whole, uh, the whole stack together with the database and uh, together with other elements including of course infrastructure. So that's what's happening. Large language models are powering uh, ChatGPT and other providers but they are not the only ones which are there.